Uh, straight into it. <laughs> Hi. Is anyone even here? I'm getting straight into it today, everyone. I was playing with a friend of mine. I was like, well, I gotta stream this anyway afterwards, so why not just stream playing with them? How you doing, everyone? No intro music. Uh, supply pack. Railgun. Airstrike. I don't know if napalm's good. But I feel like it's good. You know? The feelings are what, what matter to me. Briefing. What's the briefing? Strike at their vile hatcheries. Okay. You know, okay, Cable Car, you like the first viewer. You're the only person here. Welcome. I'm eating cereal in a bowl. Hello. Get some mesh. Welcome anyway, everyone. Hope you're having a good one. I'm gonna try not to hit my bowl in my mouth's hand. You know how it is when you're eating cereal in your mouse pad. Recipe for disaster. Today the light of liberty will grace the skies of this world once more. Deploying SOS Freedom requires speaker. firepower. Requesting tack pack. Cable Curse says, my housemate has COVID, but I walked around in the woods and picked up trash instead of going to work. Or I hiked around in the woods. <laughs> yeah, okay. That tracks. Oh, what are we doing here? Tagging map west. Affirmative. We got a bug nest to destroy. We got uh, eggs. We're on uh, difficulty five. Play my Welcome buddy to Flux flight. here. Prepare to exterminate. This game is so oh shit. Oh no, I missed. Throwing grenade. Support. I gotta move this ball. I'm gonna get myself killed. I know it. Oh, 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 oh fuck! Bitters. Ah! Oh no! Say hello to democracy! Ooh. This game is so very social. I really appreciate that about it. It's, um... Throwing supply beacons. Like, I've played this game already with so many people, like friends of mine, where... They're busy, I'm busy, and it's always this thing of like, oh, we should game sometime together. And it kind of like never happens. And I've played with, with so many people thanks to this game, just organically, because it's so drop in and drop out. People of all different like difficulties and skill levels can play together. Everybody's got the game. Let me grab those. Supplies. Like, it doesn't really matter if you die once or twice when you drop in, it's all just fun anyway. It's a hit and run game, so you can kind of do it on your own. So you'll find these groups where, like, we're doing a two-man right now, but there's room for us to drop in. That's just awesome. Like, it's such a social game. I really appreciate that about it. Like, I know everyone appreciates a lot about this game, but just appreciate that. I love how social it is. I actually just, for the first time pretty much ever in ages in a game, I'll just, like, drop in and see people. And, like, the way they do the Hologlobe, too, with, like, the friends list. I'll just drop it in and see people. It's, like, great. It's really cool. In a way that, like, Darktide isn't, you know? Because, like, Darktide... 
you know, to compare to other cults, is like, you know, that that's like a Left 4 Dead. Like, you jump in, like, you're here for the whole thing. You're not gonna go without four. This game's, like, so much more organic and natural in how you can just join each other, and I love that. It's really cool. Ah. Uh, mm -hmm. It's also a good game. Yeah, it's also an incredibly good game. And it's also a game that's incredibly fun, whether you're tryharding it or not. So, like I said, you know, anyone can play it together. You don't have to be, like, a fucking sweat who's, like, 5,000 hours into the game to be useful and having a great time at it. It's awesome. Love it. This game is an introvert's nightmare. Yeah, the fact that you c cannot purely turn off people being able to join you. <laughs> it's a cooperative game. These are scary. These big green bugs are scary as fuck. But I bring impacts now on every mission. I'm an impact gamer in every way. Because Valkyrie and others were like, yeah, use, use impacts against the bots for taking out the ATSTs. And that was a really smart idea. And then I was like, well, I've since learned that the, the big squishy parts on bugs, like on the Biospewers, where they're like 90% squishy butt, those parts are extra vulnerable, like 10 times more vulnerable to explosives. So I was like, well, what if I use impacts to, to just like slap them? So I just slap the, the bile spewers who have impacts now and it's great. Grenades are also good, yeah. So I, I use, uh, I use that shit now, yeah. Also got the railgun, because it's bugs. You have, you have to railgun the bugs. Calling in an eagle. Rogan is just too good. <laughs> the laser, like, making its way over to the Titan as it's just like, what's going on? Reloading! Yeah, bring a grenade launcher to bug missions, two grenade kills a bile spear. Yeah, and that's awesome. That's so awesome. And I think the bile titan's underside is also, like, squishy, so if you hit that with explosive, you probably do a lot of damage to them, too. Whoop! Gonna try that with a grenade launcher sometime, but the railgun is just so good. The railgun is just so do-it-all. Maybe if it's possible to, like... Kill charges of the GL in the butt, because they've got a squishy explosive butt too, but it never seems to take that much damage from explosives when I try. I don't know. But it can be hard because like you can hit the top armor of the charger butt, I think is what goes wrong. Oh god, that's not really ideal over there. Maybe we can stop that. Get some! Get some! I think I actually need my flashlight on for this. This game of Beagles can do my base assault mission last night. To the tonight. Why can't you? Well, that's a lot of charges, hey. Whoa, shit! Oh dear. Oh dear. Don't run that way. Flux run! Wait, Liberty! My leg! Head and butter bait on charges. They have a weak spot under the armor on the legs. And it only takes two shots to strip. Oh, you mean the, the strip the armor off the legs and then dump a mag into their leg strap, Camelot? When you say weak spot, weak spot to what weapon? Is this new info or is this what I've heard already? Because yeah, the, the, legs are, the legs are the key on the charges, definitely. But I wonder if the GL could do it on their butt because it should be an explosive point, right? It should be.
Not even a mag breaker will do it in like four hits. Yeah, one, one, one's this explodes with like a, like a railgun or, or an eat or a rocket, right? Or can you just shoot it with a primary is what you're saying? Because I haven't heard of that, if that's true. If there's like a joint you can hit. Any gun? Really? Any gun can do it? There's just like a natural weak point? That's interesting. I did not know that. Once the armor is gone. Okay, no, I know that though. Sorry. Yeah, that, that's what I do know. I thought you were saying maybe there's like a way to do it without having to strip armor. I'm just gonna grab both of these. Yeah. I was kinda hopeful there was a way to do it without like stripping armor because then the railgun wouldn't be as mandatory. But the railgun's so good against bugs. So, 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 so good. Bug outpost! Their charger is mad. I fucking gonna have a hard time getting these ones because of impact. Throwing grenade. There we go. Just get, just get good at the throw. Oh boy, Bile Titan. Yeah, so by the way, you can like one or two shot Bile Titans of a railgun. News at 11. Requesting air support. It turns out, many people are saying, sources indicate. Man, it makes the recoil's rifle looks terrible. It does, doesn't it? Yeah, they're 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 gonna nerf the fucking railgun, or they're gonna buff the rockets, or they're gonna do something. I'm sure. Oh my god, I hate when they do the Jamiroquai slide. Oop, there's leg. No! Reinforcing! Request approved. Reinforcements on the way. Oh, fuck! Oh. Ready to liberate. Ah. Reloading! No! Calling in reinforcements. Everything request approved. Reinforcements on the way. Reporting to the front. Wait, is this one a bug mail on Creek? I don't know what plan I'm on. I just got invited by my friend Flux actually. Also, just want to make sure you don't forget the request sponsor. Thank you very much. Yeah, I'm. <laughs> I'm probably gonna do it after a bit of Helldivers today. I gotta do two streams of Helldivers for two hours this weekend. It's gonna be fun. Sorry, not Helldivers, RoboQuest. Um, it's gonna be fun. We fucking love RoboQuest. That game left a good mark on me. I love it. It's really cool. So I'm looking forward to doing a couple of RoboQuest streams. Parking location. Heavy. East. Calling in an eagle. <laughs> Reloading! Democracy is on its way. Say hello to democracy. Fire in the hole. Oh, tighten down. That was clean. Oh, it's still There's a way to armor ship delivers any weapon, it has nothing to do with penetration with animation to charges tomorrow. Oh yeah, I heard that too, yeah. No jam today? No, so, sadly jam uh, is like, not even awake at the moment. Doesn't want to play at the moment. I wish, I miss my wife from Hellvibers. She's great fun to play with. Oh, little fuckers there. Ending in an eagle! Here comes the cavalry. 
can kind of turn her into bug nest and it kills it. That's cool, yeah. Bug tunnel breaching air support. Did my name pop off? Oh god. Uh, uh, uh. Let me up. Oh no. See, you need those impacts. Those spewers can be a pain without impacts. Fuck yeah. And it gets groups of them too, which they often come in, so it's great. Fuck yous. But yeah, with Bile Titans, so it turns out... People say that, like, it's when they're charging their glowing mouth is the weak spot. But it seems to be the weak spot if you want to fuck them up. Because you actually just want to go for their little eyes they apparently have. Just take the extra nade. They have these little eyes and right in between, like, their fleshy mouth bit and their carapace armor. Like, they're wearing a helmet that's right over their brow. And if you shoot them in their eyes, you like one or two shot them, and it's really yeah, consistent. Actually, I've I've been finding so it just makes the railgun even better, of course. Another thing I like about the impact is why I swapped last time I was playing. Actually, I was playing with Sammy and his friends um, a couple of days ago, and I threw a nade forward, and Sammy ran into it and died. And I was like, oh no! And I was like, from that point on, I was like, I just switched to impacts against bugs because when I wasn't used to the impacts versus bugs, it got me killed. Um, but, once I was used to it, oh, oh, now, now that I'm used to them, like, it's actually less friendly fire, because there's no way for an impact to just sit, uh, sit there and fuse and your ally run into it. Like, you throw it, and it goes off. My friends, I think Beagle's a supply hog. Your friends are really fucking out of pocket, Sammy, because I brought the recoilless rifle, and they weren't calling in the resupply themselves. And I would ca I called in the resupply one time and took one box for myself. And I don't think anyone else took theirs. But I, I left it to be kind, to be etiquette. And then... No one was calling in resupply still. I was out of fucking recoilless ammo again. I was killing all the fucking pile titans and chargers for you guys. And I fucking called in resupply again to fill myself. I took one box, waited. No one took any more. They all ran off. I took the second one. And then you fucking told me like five minutes later, Beagle, my friends are all mad at you for taking all the supplies. <laughs> There's no gratitude in our friend group when we toxicity. Yeah, your friends are fucking out of fucking pocket on me. I tried so hard. That has a lot to do with the recoilless getting like two rockets per resupply. Yeah, yeah, that's why I actually didn't. Then the second mission I played with Sammy's friends, I actually brought Eats instead. Because <laughs> I was like, so like, worried about being accused of being a supply hog again. Anyway, just take the railgun. I was trying out the rockets, but it's like, just take the railgun. Bugs. The railgun is just... It's, it's so much better than out, rockets for bug missions right now. It's insane. Reload. It's insane how much better the railgun is. It's, it's, not, it's not even a close. It's such a joke. Have you seen the Mexican leaks? Yep. Oh! I've seen the data mines. I've seen the leaks. There might be a lot of shit coming to us, folks. A lot of shit. Looks like they got a lot of content coming for this game. I can't wait. New old thing. Yeah, a lot of, lot of stuff from the first game. I think some new, new stuff in general too, maybe. Sending in an eagle. I'm taking normal airstrikes today as well. I've been trying them out and they're really fucking good. I'm a believer in them now. They don't do as much friendly fire as cluster bombs, so you know, that is a downside, but... Requesting air support! But they do do a lot of, uh, I think I whiffed that pretty bad. But they do do a lot of killing everything else. They're very generally use useful. I hope HD1, um, I hope Helldivers 2 adds the A10 strike from HD1, because HD1 had a strafing run, but what I always ran, I think it was, 
I, I, maybe I'm crazy, maybe I'm imagining this, but I'm pretty sure what I always ran was like the the Shredder Cannon Strike or something? I don't know, it was, it was like an armor-piercing airstrike gun run as far as I could remember. Maybe I'm crazy, but I feel like that was a thing. And I just took four of those, and I remember just running around in HD1 on like all the missions, just like spamming those on chargers and bot tanks and shit. It was distinct from the draping of just the guns. Yeah, that was my shit. I had four of that, basically. Or three of that in like a backpack or something. I just want to do that. I just want to call in the boom every time. Camelos says, to be honest, we're having to get any new stuff right away. I'd like the three quarters of the stuff that's in the game right now, but not worth using to be adjusted. Well, I assume we'll get both, hopefully. Like, I think it seems like they plan to have all that content ready to go. Like, they're bringing it in piecemeal, which is uh, smart, I think. Don't let everyone get everything immediately. I think that's smart here, because the game feels very full already. And then, I think they're also going to also, because that's already done, probably a lot of it, I think, just waiting to be, like, finalized and put in. I think they're also going to be doing some balancing, obviously. And... They haven't done any of it yet, but I think that's just because they're so busy with tech, tech issues. I do look forward to their first balance patch, it's gonna be interesting. I heard a little bird told me that there might be weapon customization coming to the game, possibly. And that would also go a long way, I think, to being able to make a lot of the guns useful. Found something. More than they are right now. Maybe that's even why some of them don't feel so useful, because they're balanced with that in mind, who knows. We'll see, won't we? We'll see. Uh-oh. Oh, look out, that bounce pad. Run. You gotta be really careful when the- Ow! When the strikes bounce, because I feel like it can make them come in on weird angles sometimes, which can be dangerous. Found something! Packed empty! Requesting air support! Oh, it, it's coming at us, it's coming at us, run! Oh no, run! Okay, we're good. I'm on it! Have to make a laser kind of good again. Yeah, I feel like they're gonna. Like, I feel like it's just that natural thing of... It's very normal with, um... With any game, really, but like... I think it's very normal for you. the game to come out. And like, the devs can't preempt everything, especially that playtest thing. That's like gonna feel good or bad, so I think it's pretty normal. Heavy. I'm not like sweating Close. it, if that makes sense. Sending in an eagle. Coming in hot. Mag empty. New mag. These uh, these guys have a lot of faith for me. I got a lot of faith in them. So we'll see. But I agree, Camel. If like a, a lot of the guns in the game, especially because of the breaker, don't feel as useful, right? No. <laughs> Yo, impacts are so good. Holy shit, impacts are so good. Like I said, the only real concern is they start doing that. We don't want to change things. The players are going to find the best stuff that I've seen a few devs do. I have a lot of faith in these guys, both for what they say to an extent, yes. But honestly, what's more important to me than that is the proof in the pudding. And the game is incredible. And you can see it's made by very competent and passionate devs. So I have a lot of faith in them. Yeah, no, I, I expect so, Sammy, yeah. Found something. But the the CEO tweeted out like about doing playtests in the past with like subsonic ammo and suppressors on their gun. Which A, weapon customization, huh? Uh B, Where's God I want that. Fire? You guys know me. God I wanna run around of like a suppressed fucking rifle. You'd have to buy up with eat. Yesterday it's getting higher and higher in my tier, says Valkyrie. How'd you do it? Did you go for the eyes? Boo. Yeah, they should probably remove unsafe mode or, or just make. Yeah, probably camel. I don't know. I feel like it'd be annoying if they make the real gun like that that easy to die on on unsafe. Like if they just make the gun more annoying to use, probably not. But they do need to like just bring down. I mean, I would honestly say it's pen. I would say just limit the number of things that the railgun can fucking kill, because like, if being able to kill chargers and Bile Titans, that's the problem with the railgun, it's not even its damage, it's just that it can kill everything. Oh god. 
And like, I, I think it would be fine if the railgun like didn't just fucking kill every bit of armor. If you limit the railgun's pen just because of bad AMR. I don't know, man, like... You gotta do something, though, because the fact that the railgun can do everything is why it's so good. You are never left in a situation where you're like, oh, I just gotta run away with the railgun, and that's what makes it so incredible. Also, its damage is insane. But... Maybe just half its ammo. Maybe, I mean, that's the thing about the other anti-armor options, is they just have very limited ammo. But you gotta do something, because definitely the... Yeah, as Anarchy says, it's we all the the highest pen weapons in the backpack, yeah. Yeah, give it like a power supply backpack, like just any number of things, I think. It's tough, they've got a tough road ahead of them, I think, to make the gun not the best in slot all the time without making it like way less fun to use. Well, to me, also, also if they just err on, I mean, even if the railgun eventually sucks, it's probably healthier than so that then you use the eats and the rockets and the spears, honestly. To be like completely honest, that's probably healthier. Throwing grenade! Catalyst says, since it's not heat like the AT launchers, what if it's specialized for breaking armor off but did less damage overall? Yeah, I guess. I feel like the auto cannon should really be able to do more as well, you know? Like the railgun can kill charges, but the auto cannon can't? Feels weird. I feel like if they made the auto cannon able to, like, do that to the charger legs, it'd be a better pick. And, like, do better against, like, halts, like, have to be less precise on the halt heads. Because the railgun also slaps against bots. Like, it can kill fucking tanks from the front, which is crazy. What again is too good of an all rounder already? Not compared to the railgun, but it is good in general, I would agree. I think you could use, like, a bit more ability against chargers. Anyway. Doesn't really matter what I think, because I trust they're going to do something good. I believe in these devs a lot. I think they- I think everyone's having the same opinions, like, generally about weapon balance, so I think it's gonna be pretty easy for them to do a good balance patch. I expect- I expect a good one. Ooh! Stalker nest over there. Parking location, southwest. Oh, fuck all that. Yeah, auto cannon is really good at objectives, I agree. Ah! Fuck! Not today! Lots of 500 kilo. I do really like the auto cannon, yeah. You just can't. I just can't. Um, unless I'm just doing it for fun. Can't rate anything over the railgun, though. Of course, right now, it's too good. Have a case of democracy. But I quite like the auto cannon. It's really fun. Uh, you want to get this nest first so they don't fuck with us? Yeah, I heard, I heard the ballistic shield sucks in this, yeah. Which is a shame, I hope they buff it up. Sending in an eagle! Yeah, the airstrike seems really good at nest clearing too. The, the airstrike seems to do everything I thought the 500 kilo bomb would do, honestly. Nice. Buggies? Oh god, buggies. Requesting air support. Northwest. The, the trees! They're in the trees! Delivering payload. Gary, just, just get the trees! Oh. 
An E girl never misses. Someone put that in my head from the Reddit. Now it's stuck in my head. Four hundred fifty kilo bombs better than one five hundred kilo bomb. That's right. We need a two thousand kilo bomb. I think this game has a lot to it, and like the hit and run nature of it as well. That's like keeping me into it in a way that I'd probably already be done of like certain other co-op games. Like, I, I beat the hardest difficulty bug missions, and then, you know, on the first weekend, and I played bots and beat the hardest difficulty bot missions the next weekend or whatever, right? But, and that's usually where a game like this was a co-op game, I would be like, oh, I'm done now, I gotta wait till they make new content, because, you know, it, it's done. But this game doesn't feel done yet for me, you know? Like, it, it doesn't even feel close to being done. It's just got a very impressive, like, bunch of shit going on. It's so playable, yeah, it's hard to explain you. There's just, like, so much... Fun to it, but also expressions of skill and tryharding. There's so many different playstyles to play. It just continues to feel fresh for me. And I think they're really smart to do their content rollout the way they seem to be doing it, where they're like staggering it and drip feeding it a bit. Because they've already launched with so much shit that doesn't feel like it's lacking. But then also, like, the fact that there's new shit coming is super cool. The Galactic War is really, like, interesting to me, and I really... I'm, like... It, like, really works on me. Like, I'm really into the Galactic War. Oh, God. Oh, shoot. My friend. I love a good if it feels just control the character. Someone on Twitter was pointing out this game controls a lot like Metal Gear Solid V. Which I would not have thought about. Because Metal Gear Solid 5, also incredible game, by the way. I would not have thought about till I saw the Twitter of it. And when you watch that Twitter post and they show the side by side, you're like, holy shit, the character is like very. Actually, like the movement is very similar to Metal Gear Solid 5. Which is an incredible game. That's incredibly fun to play around in the toy box in. Shoscott says, I had a buddy quit playing Hell Divers of Us because it felt like doing chores. Then immediately started playing Stardew Valley, which is literally doing chores and came from, I don't know. Not, not everyone has the same taste, but that is a funny way to describe it, yeah. Tomato Chris says, some of my friends think that they want to have fun because they're low-level compared to their buddies. Can't convince them I was a gas. Yeah, and that's not this game's fault for them thinking that, of course, because that's like normal gaming, right? New coffee subscription from Thank you. Soft Soul, appreciate it. Thank you. Southeast. But, um, so you understand why they would think that. But that's the great thing about this game, it's not true. You can be a level one and be useful. The basic stratagems are useful. Honestly, once you get supply pack, you can bring one of the best shits in the game. And that's fucking awesome. You're super useful, even as a baby in this. It's all about, you know, I, I want to say it's all about your skills, all about how you play. But even if someone doesn't really know what's going on, you can still be useful. That's kind of cool. That's awesome, you know. Oh, this is bad. Reloading! It's it's a very cool game. Throwing grenade. Orbital inbound. Oh god. Missed. <laughs> Fuck. New mag. Yeah, and your teammates can just bring you some stuff. That's right. Yeah, and like, um... Oh god, laser, don't help me. The laser actually didn't go for the drone, and went for the bigger enemy, that's nice. Um... And yeah, as people are saying, you can actually stealth in this game really well. Not just, we already know, obviously, dodging patrols. But there are stealth kills in this game. If you, um... If you stealth kill enemies with melee, and the other enemies, like, aren't staying right on top of them, you can actually get away with it. It's crazy. Which is much more noticeable on the bots. Than the bugs. Because the bots are like sentry and turrets and shit. It's just like really fucking cool. Supply. Wish I could see if you see Simon Brew come out of there. <laughs> yeah. Oh, you little shit. I really like the way they do, like, some missions, 
like not every mission has every enemy. Like some missions, some missions you'll get these green toxic spears. Sometimes you'll get like more bile spears and almost sometimes you get more bile titans. I really like that. It makes the missions feel fresh. It's that thing about like a bit of proceduralness where if you if you have all your content in every mission every time, don't feel samey. But if you just have like a system where you like have a few different variations, I mean. Like the more the more like random bits you have in your game, it kind of adds together to make the end result feel way more fresh every time. Like if you have two different variations, it's like okay. But if you have like ten different variations, even if they're small variations, it just adds up to feel like a really replayable game. Illuminus is going to make this feel game like, like, make this game feel like Halo. I can't wait to see Illuminus. Because in the same way, like, yeah, seeing this game when you've got, like, three factions is also going to be a ton of replayability in that sense. Or extracting. Let's grab this. Uh, I don't like any of that. Sending in an eagle! Mag Game looks cool as fuck too. The different planets feel very fucking different, which I think is awesome. I was playing on the Hell Planet the other day, and it's it's crazy cool. And then you have like day and night, different weather, rain, fog. Again, just adds up to that variation thing really nicely, I think, in this game. Impacts are so good. Switch the impacts today, folks. They're so good. No, no, no! They got it off. Requesting air support! Mag's empty! Coming in hot! Reloading! You want urban planets? Gotta be cool. Mag's empty! I mean, what's so impressive of two at the game is like the 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 the, the terrain there. deformation is so impressive to me. Ending in an eagle! Like, it's not even, like, a, a thing that this game, like, puts on its box, right? Like, the way Battlefield would do it, like, Levolution. But just quietly, like, the terrain deformation and destruction in this is incredibly good. And it's just so natural and cool. Where, like, I started noticing it when Sammy started bringing a lot of artillery. Or I was doing a lot of airstrikes. And it's like, you just go into a hive after you've bombed the fuck out of it for, like, five minutes of strategy in this big fight. And it's just craters. And it's so cool. Freedom forever! Flamethrower is already pretty good, though. It kills tank bugs in seconds if you aim for the legs. Really? I would like to try that. Are you sure? I would like to try that. Oh, no. Grenade! I think Flamer just ignores armor. Interesting. I never really tried the Flamer. I, I wouldn't mind trying it. Sending in an eagle. This is complex stratagem, so we got a long extract here. You tried to get an entire Flamer tank to get one charger? That's too bad. How about a nice cup of river tea? Huh? Oh, what the fuck? Oh! <laughs> <laughs> you gotta look out for those stratagems, man! Flux was like, let's get it. Let's get that fucking 500 kilo. Throwing grenade! Requesting a 
Like, the stuff is really good, too, in Justin being able to, like, um... You can, like, fake people out around rocks, too, because it's based on line of sight and sound. So if you appear, especially with the bolts, you'll notice, if you appear on one side of a rock, and then you crouch and hide and run around the other side, they'll, like, go to the side they saw you on. They don't, like, they don't, like, god vision you. Which is really cool, by the way. Yeah, exactly, Bounty. Impacts are so good, I'm a believer in them now. How about a nice cup of liver tea? I'm a big believer in them. I already believe in them for bots, but I'm a huge believer in them for bugs now, too. Yeah, very much sinless. Very much so. Holy shit, you can throw those far, huh? Pelican 1 preparing to depart. Shuttle launch in 20 seconds. <laughs> Extraction complete. Pelican 1 beginning ascent. Liberty has seen you through. I still have instant air grenades, I never tried them. Yeah, the impacts are really good, flying thing, yeah. Any napalm effect on bug breaches? Oh, that's cool! Really cool. Er, what's up, Pixel? What's up, Hot Stuff? How you doing? Bird. It's not funny, guys. <laughs> I tried to type yes in Discord earlier today before I started streaming, but I just typed in Erd instead. And now people are just saying Erd. Oh, when you, like, crawl out, it, like, makes you, like, look all fucked up in, like, the... You, like, doing, like, a like a hand thing. You're in the victory good. screen. Well done. <laughs> can you imagine a spoiled new backpack, Beagle? You can to me, I don't mind. I, I've seen it, though. If you mean the, uh, the, the six slaughter. Or the displacement pack. It's a simple Erd or MP question. <laughs> How do you get Erd instead of yes? Misaligned fingers. Y-U-E-R-S-D. Erd. Pixel says, I'm okay. I had a breakdown in my therapy session earlier and I feel a lot better now. Yeah? Help pods cry. Engaging orbital thrusters. Breakdown or breakthrough? Orbit synchronized. I'm gonna strike at their mature hives. I like this loadout. This loadout slaps. I even like the two eagle strikes, despite complex strategy I'm planning being on right now. I think I think these strikes are pretty easy to use, even with like delay. Breakdown, ball like crazy and raged out all. Okay, but it was like healthy. Like you came out of it good. You feel you just said you feel a lot better now. <laughs> or do you just mean like it was terrible, but like it's gone now, so you feel better now? <laughs> I'm still not certain if the napalm is good, honestly. I'm still not certain. Like, it feels like it's doing stuff, but then I never know. I feel better because it's gone. <laughs> okay. Yeah, I get ya.
Yeah, I wonder if they're gonna buff the jump pack bounty. I don't see anyone you run at. It's... I think it's good that they, like, nerfed it from one, but they might have overdone it. We'll see. Go now. Probably give it, like, a little bit more fuel. Remember this. Every day is a a little bit more jump, you know, in, in its bursts. I think it's good that it's, like, a cooldown thing now, though, rather than just all the time. So this is one of my girlfriends uses napalm very effectively. Yeah, I basically always try to throw it on breaches. I'm not sure. People say gas strike is really good for that, but I didn't see gas strike doing anything either. So I don't know. It always feels like I throw it on a breach, and I don't know like is it even killing anything, or am I just imagining it? I think one thing that napalm is uh, demonstrably good for is it provides a like puffing firewall that I don't want to go through, which can really help. Why do you ro rock the yogurt armor? Yogurt armor. I don't know, but if you're talking about this shit. Taking this shit looks so Bugs. good. North. Bugs. North. Oh, I don't like any of this. Okay, so like we're gonna do it here, for example, right? And I just don't know if this like is doing something. I feel like it is. I think it kills all the little ones. And like damages the bigger ones. And the strikes themselves like do good damage. So I guess you can think of it like an airstrike too, in its own in its own right. And then the fire is like extra. One thing I'll say about the napalm is it looks cool as fuck. Just shooting the head so I can stun him. Reloading. So pretty much no matter what, it's like worth bringing at least for that. Heavy, wet, close. Captain Chris, is there also like gas better, but the orbital scatter complication just kills its value? Yeah, definitely. I think that's good that there's like reasons to bring one or the other. Uh, bring different things based on different missions. That's awesome, of course. Again, the replayability thing. I think we have a spore spear going on around here. Usually we just kill these things, but I think we're gonna do like a rare, like, actual... Man, it takes so long. Why wouldn't you just kill it? Fanny says, I still prefer the Napalm M1, doesn't do impact damage, it's way longer. Yeah, I'd take that in this too. I got the Man, seriously? How much work do you want me to do? That better be it. Okay. I was considering very much just throwing an impact at that antenna the entire time. Calling down <laughs> 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 as soon as there was like a waiting period, I was like, fuck this! <laughs> is there a difference between hacking into the store and the tower? I think just like expending the resource is it. Camo says Eagle One is my Abelard. I ask her to do everything for me. And she obliges because she is a gracious and powerful being. She is. She is very gracious and powerful. I find resupp resupply back just incredibly good, especially paired with the railgun, but also in general. Like, it's just incredibly strong to have so many stims, grenades, ammo. And it, like, because you can call it in independent of the resupply um, drop in. Which you only get one of on a cooldown now in this game, unlike multiple in the last one. I find it very, very good for easing the logistics. Like, I tend to not even have to use my resupply pack a lot. And then when you do need to use it, like, you've got it, and it's, like, super great to have. That's, like, a whole bunch of bullshit, which I'm just gonna do this through. Maybe more would be good against bugs as Logos. I, I mean, mortars do great damage. It's just against bugs, they they ru they rush you so much better and sneakier. It's harder to notice like a drone on you, and there's a lot more of them charging you, and the mortar will be like yum yum. I think it depends if mortars kill chargers, honestly, and titans. I haven't really tried mortars because you know Sammy, very quickly, 
I think demonstrated why that is a scary and bad idea against bugs. This isn't terrifying. Oh shit. This mist is so cool. Requesting air support. Oh fuck! Oh, you could throw it while diving? Holy shit! You don't have to pick one or the other. You can you can dive and throw at the same time. Are you fucking kidding me? Like literally. <laughs> That's so fucking awesome! Ow! 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 Have you used a revolver at all? No. Is it good? I heard someone say it's mid, but one person's opinion obviously is not objective. Or definitive, I mean. Reloading! Everything's like mid compared to like a full auto Uzi with 31 shots as your secondary, right? But um... Either I'm sure they're gonna balance that, or there's gonna be like customizations coming because you get the you get the full auto pistol very early, so it'd be weird if like the primary pistol is just like made for nothing basically. Yeah, it actually is banning. Yeah, that's right. I used to use the secondary a lot more till I got the breaker, and then the breaker just kind of kills everything. All right, where are we going? Kendall says, I think it technically has medium armor pen. That's cool. I don't even have it. I haven't even got the premium warbond yet. At this rate, the next warbond's gonna come out. And I'll have to pick, I think, which one I want to go for first. Because they said they're doing a new, um... A new warbond, like, every... Every second Thursday of new, a new month, I think? Or was it every Thursday? I think it's every second Thursday of each month they're going to do a new warbond, they said. Every two weeks, they said. Mm, did they say every two weeks? I thought it was one a month. Here's an invite. Uh, if you please. Where are you, Sammy? Sammy, I don't see you. Oh, there you are. Ah! Back to your resupply call from earlier. Ha, <laughs> you're right. It's like every second Thursday of each month. Yeah, that's what I thought they said, yeah. So, I mean, in like a week and a bit, we should be seeing the first new, uh, first new Warbond. So I'm looking forward to what that's gonna bring. They must be working really hard to get all that tech issue shit dealt with, too, so that they can then, like, be getting into, like... Uh, you know, all the new content, because I imagine they're going to drop some new content not too, not too long from now, too. Oh, dear. Po Pokes says, I think non-mortar turrets are strong against bugs, but are certainly weak against bots because they waste their ammo on dropships. I actually think the complete opposite. Um, I think it's good that they shoot the dropships. If they can kill him anyway, the auto cannon anyway, and the rocket. If they can kill him, it's good. Though I understand what you mean, because if you don't have multiple of them, it probably won't kill it. But if you have like multiple of them, they actually take down dropships, and it's really useful. We beat the scientist mission, bringing four auto cannons for that exact reason. Gatling and MG can't kill them, so it's wasted. That shouldn't happen. Yeah, they they shouldn't they should not be shooting dropships. That's fair. Depends on the turret, really. Also, this game doesn't do the thing that every game does, where if you prone on uneven terrain, it like forces you up and like makes you lose your stealth. As far as I can tell, this game doesn't do that. You can see the points where it's thinking about it, but it, like it always keeps you prone, and I really appreciate that. Oh! Rare sample acquired. 
Oh fuck! No! No! We gotta get out of here! Oh, Flux is stuck in there. Am I poisoned? Am I bleeding? I think I'm bleeding, but this armor you can't bleed on, so it's fine. Doing prone recharge your stamina faster? Does it? Well, you got like armor three stances in this? Oh, I need to heal because I can't sprint. Okay. Oh no, another one. Another one! So I wonder that if you take supply, does it both refill the pack and get refill your ammo? I think you have to be full, but I don't know, because if it does, that's huge. Oh, still breathing. Sending in an eagle. If so, it'd be more efficient to talk about your teammate. That's true, yeah, you're right. North. I do wonder. Reloading. Requesting air support. I think the fire and killer won't get those ones. Yeah, the 500 kilo is kind of a- oh, don't get any of them. That's the problem with the 500 kilo. You think it should do all that, but it doesn't. 500 kilo is kind of a JDAM, it's weird. Bug out post spotted. Prepare to exterminate. Ending in an eagle. Not even a JDAM. It's kind of like a, a precision, like a smart, precision smart bomb that, like, has a very small radius. Here comes the cavalry. So you'll be bug you F or rip. Whereas airstrike just does it. Dropping a pin. West. It refills both your ammo and NSP charges boldly badly. That's immensely cool. So Bounty's right. So if you're like tryharding super hard of your team, and this could be important for like recoilless rifle teams and shit like that if you're using it. Um, yeah, the supply pack person should be filling everyone up, okay. then taking all of the, the packages. And then you get double, double value out of your refills. That's really cool. No! Oh no, I'm sorry, I think I did that. I'm sorry. You're too... Oh! Request approved. Deploying reinforcements. It's my fact that's incredible. I have a big radius for killing units, but it doesn't hit buggles as well as this fire and kill. better against bot fabs. Still fair to just some minor tracking, like the rare cannon. Yeah, it'd be kind of cool. Make it like laser designated. But then also, like, is it too similar then to the rail cannon, you know? The 110 tracking, uh, the 110 rocket pods have it. I quite like the 110 pods, by the way. I've, I've come around to them too. I feel like I have enough anti armor against uh, bugs because of the rail gun, but otherwise. I would say actually, actually, pretty useful at his job. The, the the thing about the 110 pods is that I thought oh, I would naturally think that 110 rocket pods, right? I would naturally think that oops, rocket pods are for like like FFARs, like HE, like blow up infantry squads, basically. But in this game, they're anti armor. They're very much like. Anti anti armor rockets instead. Throwing supply beacon. I kind of just wish like you saw more rocket stars. I still wish there was like eight of them just for visual. 
Because seeing like three FFR ARs get fired at once in a like a whole flurry is weird to me. I want some more oomph, you know, I want it to be like <laughs> But you can kill fucking Bile Titans with them if you hit in the head. It's all about the head of the Bile Titans. It's all about hitting that eye, I think. Rockets to just kill Bile Titans generally. Yeah, they're pretty good. Fanny says, laser designated support weapon should let you grab and move column positions while it's still counting down. That'd be crazy. That'd be so game changing. It'd be tactical, but I think they probably don't do it just because it'd be so like game mechanic breaking and probably OP. If you could like just take, take like gravity gun someone's airstrike and put it on like a spore tower 200 meters away. It'd be cool as fuck in this like new way of playing where it's not all one screen from top down. But it'd probably be too cool. Probably too cool for school. Kind of dedicated to get rock lock on launcher. Doesn't even thing to use on for now. Maybe when they fly enemies, maybe like a multi missile, multi missile like launcher. Probably just like categorize the spear to be able to take down drop ships would be nice. Like uh, it can it already. The spear just needs like help and it's like usability. I think it, it it's lock on is a bit buggy. Both in getting the lock on and the way its top attack sometimes doesn't work. Tagging location. Never mind. I think that's good. Democracy's on its way. Oh yeah, that's good. <laughs> Flux. Enemy down, baby. Spewers. Grenade! I don't play with spewers. Those things probably kill me the most of any enemy in bug missions. The blood can't stop the blood. <laughs> yeah, I need to stim that just because otherwise I won't get stamina back. Engaging oh, but I can't stim. Shit. Hang on, I need to hurt myself so I can stim. Why well, I need to unlock impact grenades. They're really good. Yeah, they're really, really good. Uh, workplace injury suit. There we go. Oh, fuck! It's fine. They didn't see. Strafing runs are great on lower definitely says they saw. I... I... I think strafing runs is great in general. I think it's a really good stratagem. I just don't have the room for it versus other shit usually. But I brought it on nines, and it's really good. Yeah, because it's. She didn't see that. It's so responsive, and the way it goes out from you in a line is so easy to use compared to the other strikes to go in a wide line. Sometimes it's really good for it when there's like a conga line of shit at you. You know. Why you want an injury? Because I was bled somehow without taking damage. I don't know how it happened. So I had to injure myself so I could stim. Reloading. Ah. 
Objective located. South. Mission at 20 minutes. I'm on it. Tagging map. North. Making progress. Affirmative. Sending down equipment package. Sixteen seconds for resupply. Damn you, complex stratagems. Dropping a pin, southeast. New man. Flux has got the spirit of democracy in him because he he goes for like the clear every. Requesting air support. The clear every hive thing too. Like a real patriot. We love that. Let's do five see what's going on. Just play to my friend. It's his lobby. I think that's the fun thing about this game too, is like I was saying before, is this is like diff five, right? It's not hell dive. But it's still really fun. It's not like, you know, like I've gone backwards in Dark Tides, it's like, okay, this is like pretty boring, right? Because the game is balanced around being able to hit and run, the D9 can be a lot harder while still being winnable. And also, they don't do like health numbers or anything, like it's very good balancing where it's just like number of enemies and type of enemies generally. So the lower difficulties are still like hard, or like, sorry, well, they're, they're hard enough to be interesting, you know, they're still challenging. I think that's really cool. But I'll probably uh, play some some dives after this op's done. This is the last one on the op, and I'm probably gonna be like, yeah, head to my ship and start some dives after this. So, Sammy, I don't know if you're still listening, but if you're here, maybe we can get it in. Fuck, you gotta throw a bit higher. How about a nice or not? Throwing grenade. There we go. Oh shit. Requesting air support. Hey Eagle One, I don't want to waste my frag grenades. Can you just airstrike that? Thank you. I'm gonna go get that other uh, pack. But it's gone. Vanny says, I do like some less optimal loadouts for lower difficulty. Playing no meta builds that wouldn't have worked in top difficulty is still fun. 100%, yeah. I think it's fun in this game too because it's all based on hit and running and like even variable levels of success and objectives completed that you can totally like you can really like technically beat a hell dive with any loadout right it's just not gonna be easy but you can always just like hit and run to just like get it done like, just, just kite and oh! Sweet liberty, my leg! which I think is fun more games need to do hit and run it's great when they do It really dictates not only the number of weight of elite enemies that spawns as obsidian, but also the rate at which the map spawns reinforcements based on how many alerts you trigger. Yeah, like you'll see with bots on lower difficulties, it's like one dropship, but on higher, it's like two dropships at once for an alert, which is cool. Randomly, so Eagle can rearm. Just here, like, uh, you seen four drops of one flare in, in Hell Dive as absolute? Oh, there you go. Do you still prefer the breaker over the slugger? Yeah, definitely. I kind of prefer it against bots, too. The breaker is just, like, super good. I, found, I like the slugger, but I found it a bit hard to aim. Like, it felt like it had, a, like, a bit less responsiveness. Possible I just sucked at it, too, but, um, like, it's very good damage. But I found I would, like, miss more shots against bots. Hey, you little fucker. 
that I just don't miss, even against bugs with a breaker, I find. Oh no, disappointment inbound. It really always sucks when that happens and it doesn't get the nests. Because that's like, I unlock the 500 kilo and you do the... Because that's what it shows in the fucking demo, but someone pointed out in the visual demo for the 500 kilo, the, the, the nests actually don't die. They're still alive afterwards. But it's like, wh why did they use the, that video then? Did they not get a hybrid? Did they, did they think they killed the nest too in the demo? Is it a joke? The show that doesn't work, I guess? I didn't realize at first. I was just like, oh yeah, it kills the nest. Boom. But actually, it's the normal air strike that does that, not the 500 kilo. I guess it's good for showing you the, funnily, in a fucked up way, it's good for showing you like the radius of the 500 kilos kill zone. Which is basically exactly short enough to not hit these nests if it's in the middle. Bug out, post! How about a nice cup of liver tea? Yeah. Ah, Thank shit. Fucker got in the way. Sample collected. Eagle, back in the fight. So, so don't take fire to kill the bomb then? Well... What the fu- oh, that's grass. 500 kilo is... Can be a bit finicky to aim. But it is good if like, that's what you're taking for like, killing a big thing, right? Like it can- can be good for that, I think. But... For the railgun at the moment, I do the opposite. I bring the railgun for bug and, well, bot armor killing, and I bring stratagems for other shit. The shield plus 500 kilo bug? Oh, the thing where you get the stratagem stuck in your personal shield? <laughs> yeah. Which is such an awesome strategy, by the way. I love people doing that. Yeah, that's right. You have to realize it's not a, not an AOE bomb, really. That's right, Tycon. It's it's uh, it's kind of like a precision kill. Yeah, the kill everything bomb is shredder, which is not in yet. Yeah. Reloading. Requesting air support. I think I landed that off. The bridge is actually further away. Like, you're gonna die, Ladrette? See, the drone walks through it! And that's why I think maybe Napalm isn't good. Because I don't think a drone should be walking through that, the weakest bug in the game. And not giving a fuck, you know what I mean? Like, maybe I should be taking gas instead of Napalm, or like, anything else even. Like, uh, just any other strike. Like the 110s or, uh, a gun run. I think with the napalm, you really have to hit the impact, like... Like, the actual residual fire damage doesn't seem to be that much, which is what I would have thought the main point of it is, and actually you need to bring it for, like, mainly for the impact of the bombs, and then also the fire is, like, cherry on top. So it's kind of like a, a variant to Cluster Bomb, I guess. Maybe I could bring Cluster Bomb again. Cluster Bomb is pretty fucking sick for killing little shit. 110 seems very weak, says Pope. 110 really good, but you have to understand it's, like, a Hellfire missile, not really FFARs. So the visual kind of lies to you there, of what you think it's for. It's more like you're calling in like a Hellfire missile to like fuck up a tank. It's an anti-armor thing. It's not a. It's not an AG thing. I mean, it didn't really do that much against Hulks in my uses. Oh, I don't know. I haven't tried it on Hulks. I just know it's good against Crushers and Titans. Reloading. More enemies coming, by the way. They uh, they say that... Apparently the CEO was quoted as saying that Vile Titans aren't even meant to be like a high-tier enemy. They're like a mid-tier. They're not even like a boss power level compared to what they have planned to come. So like, that's fun when you hear that. That's fun. Do 
you try to come on your next diff nine run? What combo? Mission at ten minutes remaining. Tagging location. Bugs east. Give us real AT then, please. I think hell divers need the super dragon. I think we need. I think we need the super dragon launcher. I'm on it. Calling down supplies. Probably get the hive. Well, they someone leaked, or it was in like a trailer apparently at one point. There's a picture of a bot assault mech, and it looks like a king crab. Straight up, it looks like a king crab. I'm on it. From the back. Engaging terminal. So we're finally with this game gonna get our uh Huh? We're gonna get our wish of being able to be an infantryman in battle tech, I think. It's gonna finally happen. Had a little bit more payload, you know. Just, a, just, just a little bit more payload for the mission. Recoil traveling is a favorite more damage. Yeah, people say that in Helldivers one. I don't remember, but people say the recoils in Helldivers one one shot the chargers, which are like the crusher chargers, whatever. Same as we have now. So I think they kind of defanged it for this game a bit, but maybe they'll give it back its extra damage. Engaging terminal. Because the one you can upgrade them. Yeah, that's true. The stratagem upgrade, that's true. I wonder if they're planning to eventually do that for this. Oh no! I thought it was gonna throw it into his head for a second. It's got a nice high arc. It's pretty, it's pretty doable. Nice. Could one shot the tanks as Sutan if you had a perfectly square side shot, yeah. They probably intentionally like made them tougher though because like oh fuck. In an eagle. Oh what the fuck? Okay, it doesn't go right where the drone is, my bad. Of course it wouldn't. Of course it wouldn't, that makes sense. Because uh video game. Ow! Because now that you have range on them, they need to be a bit tougher to get into range of you. So it makes sense why things would take more shots. But it does have that effect of like weapons that are really slow reloads, like the recoilless then. Like, being a bit hurt by that, you know? Because when you're doing like, damage... If a gun one-shots something but has a really long reload, it's fine. But if a gun two-shots something that has a really long reload, suddenly the DPS is like, way worse. Because all the damage is worse because now it's about d d uh, DPS not burst. Which is, of course, why the railgun's so amazing, because it has no usability problems like that. Longer reload for the railgun would also make it less great. But um, you gotta be careful, though, because you want to make the gun just like a, a worse kind of version of other things that already exist. Lucky says, please explain why the counter sniper handles like dog shit and the railgun handles like an SMG. Yeah, I never thought about that either. The railgun has like perfect uh, ergonomics. I kind of hope they, like, buff the ergo in general for those weapons, though, because, like, the weapons that have bad ergo just feel shit to use. Heavy, 
Holy shit! My life for super! That was actually a perfect under five kill, I don't know why. I I, I should have let him throw it first. I'm so silly. Oh! Holy fuck! Sending in an eagle! I really like actually. I actually really, really like Camelus' idea of the railgun. I think it was Camelus anyway, sorry. Of lowering its damage quite a lot, but keeping its pen. So that it's, it's a weapon for penetrating and maybe like blowing holes in, stripping armor. But it's not about doing damage, if that makes sense. Like, if the railgun could kill a Bile Titan and a Charger, but it took like 10 shots, that would be fine, you know? No one would complain about that. So, like, it can do everything, but it's not great at it. But it's the fact that the the railgun can do everything, and it's also, like, the best DPS at everything. That's the problem. It's actually kind of a good trade-off, is would you take the railgun if you could kill everything, but at worst DPS and every other option that specializes against those things? People complain about the railgun doing less damage. Maybe. I mean, there's also, like, you can't please everyone, and people are already complaining about the railgun doing too much, so... Yeah, if you're like a sicko, you're gonna whinge about the railgun not being good because you miss how good it is. For sure. Ow. But I mean, that's that's like if you do anything to the railgun, people are gonna complain. Oh no. Reinforcing. You can't avoid that. Oh no! I almost grenaded my teammate as soon as he respawned. That would've been so fucking bad. No! Calling in reinforcements! Hold on, I'm gonna go strike this. Sending in an eagle! Oh! <laughs> Jesus fucking Christ! No, I'm, I'm fucking acided! <laughs> It's a charger! Charger jump scare! Reloading! Oh, fucking bitch! Throwing grenade! Extraction is available. Oh my god. I don't think Flux has come back for his shit. I think we're getting out of here. Oh shit! Oh shit! Oh shit! No ever grenade! No ever grenade can do that for you folks! Reloading! No ever grenade! Get the fuck out of here! Yeah, the autocannon is so fun, gunmetal. Oh god. Calling down a support weapon! I'm gonna get out of the trees and into the clear of the, uh, the lake up ahead. That'll help me. One minute remains. Destroyer departure imminent. We're gonna have a four minute extraction. Hey, um, let, let the extraction time out so it doesn't call bug waves onto it, because we've got a four minute wait and we're not gonna have our stratagems for most of it anyway. If you let it time out and auto send the shuttle, it's like a stealth extract. They won't automatically know we're there. Requesting tag pack! We'll just hide in a bush for like four minutes, ideally. What means you don't need to stay near it? True! Really good point. Didn't, never thought of it that way, but yes. If you do get into a fight, you don't have to like stay on it. Destroyer 
Super Destroyer leaving low orbit. Emergency extraction shuttle deployed. <laughs> I try to hide for four minutes. <laughs> I gotta hide, but I also gotta get ahead. Oh fuck, they're right there. I got four minutes. I can like... I can do this. I can stealth around. I can do this. There should be enemies here because we blew this nest up. One of the pros of blowing up all the nests on the map really exhaustively is you have a lot more ground you can go through. Fear, seeing fire in the distance, being like, is that a. No oh no! No! <laughs> no! It's just me now. That means that means the extract's hot too, which isn't ideal. ETA T minus three minutes. Well, showing up later is good then. Love to do some testing to see how killing Ness effects spawns. It'd be interesting, wouldn't it? ETA T minus two minutes. Look at on my left. They're on both sides. Oh god. Slip past the patrols. Two minutes of wait. ETA T minus two minutes. Okay, now we wait. ETA T minus one minute, thirty seconds. Stealth extract, the little known I find in the Helldivers community, self extract. This was invented by Jamble. Jamble pioneered. In the wider community, the stealth extract strategy. She's a sly queen. Oh, fuck. No! No, you don't see me! You even keep your stance when you're climbing, which is awesome. Oh my god, the fucking... Killing fields that Flux put in here! You killed so many on evac Flux, I'm so sorry I wasn't here! Oh my god! <laughs> what a fucking story! The environmental storytelling here is off the chain. Samples? I already got them from before. Falcon 1, landing in progress. Oh! No! Let me in! Countdown initiated. Stand by for takeoff. Oh! Fuck! Falcon 1, beginning ascent. That little guy almost one tapped me on X ray. That was crazy. Democracy prevails once more. That one little fucking flying white guy almost got me there. Actual extra camper. Yeah! <laughs> that was a stalker, I'd be dead. That was a cool mission.
And that's what I mean, that's still really five. But it's still, like, fun and interesting, you know what I mean? Such a good game. Alright. But I'm gonna go to nines on mine now. I'm gonna invite Tuber next. Because I've got a date with Tuber today, too. Thank Liquid Flux. That was awesome, yeah. That's so... That's so crazy when you come up to the evac where Flux died like three minutes ago. And it's just bodies everywhere. If you could carry the Helldiver bodies to extract like XCOM 2, I would have looked around for his. Cover. You put him in the supply backpack. No friendly fire incidents. Well done. All right, that was awesome. Except for you, sorry. <laughs> it was awesome till you. I, I shouldn't say it's awesome because, <laughs> but that was so cool going up to the extract, and all your body, uh, all the bodies of the ones you killed were around there. That was crazy. All right, I'm gonna I'm gonna run to my own uh, and do a hell dive. Um, so if you want to keep playing with me, um, let me know when I'll invite you. GG, otherwise. I'm going back to my ship. I'll see you there, maybe or not. See you later, otherwise. GG. I'll give him an invite. Because I don't know, because he, he hasn't got mic or anything. He's, he's playing on... So the other cool thing, crossplay. He's playing on PlayStation. Which is really cool. Again, I just get to play with so many people because like it's so easy to play with each other. So I'm gonna give him an invite in case he's not done for the night, in case he wants to play more. I'm also gonna invite... Chubra. And where is that, Sammy? Welcome aboard, What did you call my ship, Princess of Equality? Harry, what's up? Harry, do you have this game? We should play this together, Harry. Ship module. I should get my next module too. I think I'm gonna get the better turrets first. Depends. If I'm gonna keep doing bugs, getting the full drop in for railgun is nice. But you don't really need it with the supply pack as much. But for bots, I really want to get the sentries to rotate towards new targets more quickly. So I was just typing Flux DM me, so I was just typing to him. Look, enemy. What up, Chibra? Because if there's one Do thing I've learned, it's that there is oh, yeah. liberation without communication. Didn't I love to, but I'd refund it because it wouldn't match mate me, but I'd buy it if, if you're up for some games. Yeah, absolutely, Harry. Absolutely. Um, most, uh, fair warning if you're gonna buy it again for that though, fair warning that most of the time I'm playing is on stream. I, I sometimes get like a handful of games in over the, the week when I'm not online, but it's rarer for me. So don't buy it just for me. It's a really good game though. Um, were you having trouble like, you couldn't get any games? Or just like, in general? Sammy, so you're coming? Cool. Because like, if you mean you were like on here and you're having trouble, they fixed some of that. I don't know if your issue's been fixed yet. And sometimes you'll still just get like, you'll click one and it won't work. But I just keep trying new ones or quick play and eventually I get in. But I don't know how bad your um, oh, uh, issue was. Despite the various efforts of the Helldivers, Automaton Marauders have invaded Super Earth territory. Future citizens mourn as their sufficiently sized home is burned to the ground. They demand justice and they receive it, but for now the Terminal Control System is ready for activation. Oh, cool. You can a message from Super Earth. Oh. Feld was determined clear of terminal presence months ago, but it appears a subterranean hive looted detection. That's where we are right now. And has been gesturing undemocratic vermin for weeks. Now the spawn have erupted, creating a massive outbreak that threatens to engulf the entire planet if we do not act quickly. Contain the outbreak now before the bugs are able to spread further. Contain the terminal outbreak before the bugs are able to spread further. Liberate Veld. 45 medals! Damn! So this is the really cool thing. 
Yeah, I, I remember fighting on Veld. It was one of the ones available of Angel's Venture and Heath on, on first. So that's really fucking cool. You can tell there that, like, that's the GM doing their job there. Like, the little fluff write-ups. And that's interesting. So now we're going back to Veld. That's, like, they've made the rewards way better because the rewards first week and second week were, like, um, just get a bunch of wreck, but nobody really needs that anymore if you're not new to the game. New, new players can still use it, but it's still only like 12k for a major order, which wasn't much. But 45 medals is a big bump. It's also a much more accomplishable major order to just liberate one planet. So I feel like you can see how it's very different from what they were doing before, and that's fucking cool in my opinion. Okay, well, we're gonna keep on fighting on Veld then for sure. Look at this disgusting infestation. Deploy to the planet and expunge it. Okay, let's... Get the data. We failed the bot order? Yeah, we did. I love that you can fail, it's so cool. <laughs> okay. Well, I'm gonna get the support weapons thing then, if we're doing more bugs, which it looks like we're doing more bugs. It's bug day. Back to bugs after all our automatoning, that's good. So this way I'll get full ammo on my railgun. <laughs> And then next is probably... I don't use orbitals. It's the one thing I haven't really used at all yet is orbitals. I just prefer the eagle. This shit is good too. Better steering for hell pod. For all of you. So it applies to everyone in your ship, I guess? Or just for me? So I probably want to get those still this next. High quality lube. And then get... Just start building all of these... Tesla is good for bugs and sentries for bots. Jeep and APC got leaked. Pictures? You got pictures for me? People are saying that they get leaked because there was a guy saying like he was in a lobby with um with someone who was able to spawn all this shit. And someone was saying like, is it a hacker? Someone else was saying like, maybe it's a dev. Like maybe the devs are like going in and like doing it. Want me to send you the pics? Yes, please on DM. I would love to see that. And him should be hyper Joel. <laughs> We're gonna drop um down here. Here's my baby. Railgun. Supplies. You can see his rooftop MGs you can hang off of. Let's go. What about the Jeep? I want to see that. I want to see them both. I want to see what they look like. Oh, you've got them for me? Hang on. Airstrike. Now, do I take Napalm this time? I feel like it could do more. I feel like we could take something else here. Maybe 110 strike for how much armor there tends to be on nines. And it's also useful against spewers. I guess. I feel like I can bring better. Vehicle size maps will be cool. I think the maps are going to stay the same size. I doubt they're going to do like a whole new category of maps when the vehicles come. But I don't know. Cray MS? I don't really want to do any MS strike. It's just like one strike. I guess it's only 75 seconds though. Hmm. I guess it's only 75 seconds. Are we still in complex strategy and plotting here? It's like planet wide or operation wide? Sorry, one sec. Just looking at shit. Maybe I bring Tesla Tower instead. It's really good for breaking contact. Oh my god. True, bro. Don't you fucking dare bring a mortar on a bug mission. I will democracy you. Oh, wait, yeah. Don't, don't yeah. you do it. Don't you do it. <laughs> Literally any other strategy. Oh, classic. <laughs> yeah. Alright. You want that? You want that? It's all good, you know that. 
Hey, I'm not- I'm not- Whatever, whatever as long as it's not the mortar turret on level 9 bugs. Yeah, literally anything else than the mortar is fine. Then how will I yell Bring at myself? Bring a mine if you want it. Yeah, we'll, we'll fight bugs if you want to use the mortar. I bring the mortar so I hit myself with the mortar and then I get mad at myself for having the mortar. <laughs> Added benefit, you hit me too. Every time I go in, I'll throw a mortar and then I'll rug in to the bug holes and I'll be like, why the fuck am I getting hit by a mortar? <laughs> oh yeah, I'm the idiot. You're a trendsetter, you break the meta.